This is Andrew Stotts of A. Stotts Investment Research talking about world-class benchmarking, looking at the company Yan Lord Lan Group Limited, which is a Chinese company listed in Singapore. So let's get a little background on the company. First of all, what we can see is Yan Lord Lan Group Limited is a Singapore-listed property company and is one of the top 10 foreign-owned developers in China by sales. The company's commercial and residential development activities are largely concentrated in and around the major cities and regions of China, including Shanghai and the Pearl River Delta. And let's look at the company's uh, stock price, and we can see a stock price chart here, and the ticker code is YLLG. The market capitalization is about $2 billion U.S. billion with $2 million in average daily turnover. So not a lot of turnover considering the size, and it's in the real estate sector. So let's go through some of the main points here. What can we see? Yan Lord is a Singapore-listed real estate group with revenues derived entirely from properties in four key growth regions of China the Yangtze River Delta, the Pearl River Delta, the Bohai Sea area, and West China. The company has prime city locations such as Shanghai, Shenzhen, Tianjin, and Nanjing. And the company has a diversified portfolio of holdings and developments, including residential, shopping mall, office buildings, and hotels. Nearly all of its revenue comes from development, with less than 10% from investment and other sources. Now, the group's relatively strong balance sheet has helped it to partially insulate itself from the volatility in the mainland Chinese housing market. YLLG has over 15 projects undergoing pre-sales as of six months, 2016, including high-rise condos in Shanghai, Shenzhen, Shuzhou, and Nanjing. And it has also acquired new land worth around $1 billion, preparing for new projects to take off in the future. So now let's look at the revenue breakdown by segment for 2015. First, property development, 94%. This company is concentrated. And property investment in others, just 6%. Shanghai, 32%. Tianjin, 21%. And Shuzhou is 15% as far as sales by city. So now let's look at the company's world-class benchmarking score. First of all, what we can know is that the chairman is also the CEO and the founder of the company, Mr. Shang Jian Zhong. And what we can see here is that his performance of the company is improved, but still below average among 180 large real estate companies. Right now, its profitable growth ranking is ranked at a number six, so slightly below average. Now, if we want to understand more, what we can see is profitability is poor at a number seven, but growth improved to number two in the past 12 months. So if we go down deeper, we can see profit margin is the main drag on profitability. That profit margin is at a seven right now. Actually, there's been very good improvement on asset utilization, which is now ranked as a four. If we look at sales growth, it's ranked as a two. In fact, 2015 and the prior 12 months have been very, very strong. So the drag on growth is coming from the number seven ranked margin change. So a slightly improving, but still below average performance. Do you wanna see the profitable growth rank for a company in your portfolio? Well, just leave a comment below with company name and country of listing and I'll post it if I have it.